Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, encouraging you to run with endurance, the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, August the 10th. What is the uh, emotion that uh, dominates your thinking uh, when it comes to the future? When you think about the future, what is the feeling that that most dominates uh, in your life? This coming Sunday, I'm going to share uh, the results of a survey that uh, they did with a lot of pastors and what they're seeing, the dominant emotion that they're seeing in their uh, people's attitudes uh, when it comes to the future. But today, for today, I was reading through Proverbs uh, recently and came across this nugget. It's Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1 says, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. So according to this piece of wisdom, uh, boasting about what we believe we're going to be able to accomplish in the future is really not a not a great approach uh, for living well. I think this is what James was thinking about. The Apostle James was thinking when he wrote in James chapter 4, Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring and then he asks a question what is your life it's a great question what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes instead you ought to say if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance, and all such boasting is, is evil. So, whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. So again, you get the sense that James was thinking about this little nugget from Proverbs. <clears throat> and I, as I was been thinking about this whole topic of uh, our attitude towards the future uh, and listening to what God has to say about it, just a couple of thoughts came to mind. The first one is this, having a plan, uh, that's a good thing. It's not bad to have a plan, but we just need to make sure that in our plans, we actually make room, make allowance for the purposes of God. Having a plan is good. Resting in the providence of God, acknowledging His activity, His engagement over all of the circumstances of our lives. That is what's really, that's what's really best. And then uh, the second thought I had uh, as I was uh, reading this passage, especially from James, is how we really need to focus on making the most of the moments that we do have, the present. Make the most of that uh, for the glory of God. To do the, the right thing in whatever circumstance that we find ourselves in. So here was the, the question of the day uh, that I had uh, for us. What is your outlook when it comes to the future? Well, what is your attitude? about it. In fact, we'll, we'll chat about that this coming uh, Sunday uh, as we look at God's Word uh, together. So, let me pray for us this morning. Father, thank you for this uh, new day that you've given us, for the opportunity we have to represent you, and uh, my prayer is that we'll have uh, just this calm assurance that you're at work uh, through everything that's going on in our lives. And it will rest in your good purposes uh, for us this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, our, our summer Bible adventure on the road team, they wrap up their 
their ministry uh, down east on uh, Friday and we are uh, really grateful to God for what we see him doing in that community and through that church and this coming Sunday we're going to be back in uh, the book of uh, Hebrews in the Faith Hall of Fame Hebrews chapter 11 I'm looking forward uh, to that and I'd certainly uh, would love to see you in one of our gatherings this coming Sunday and in the meantime let me encourage you to enjoy the journey that God has you on for his glory